In today's episode of The Insect Hunter, we're going to be teaching you how to make your very own relaxing chamber. After that, we're going to see if we can pin these old, dilapidated longhorn beetles that we were able to find. Let's see if we can do it. Before we actually start making a relaxing jar, I want to tell you guys that it is best to pin insects as soon as you can after you collect them. It just makes things easier, but sometimes you might accidentally leave them out for long periods of time where they get very dry, stiff, and brittle, and they will break easily. In those cases, the best way to try and fix that is by making a relaxing jar. So let's get to it. All right. So let's talk about the different equipment you're going to need to make a kill jar. You're going to need some paper towels. Um, some small plastic cups like a ketchup container is perfect. You're going to need a glass jar or a plastic jar of some sort that we can seal the humidity inside of. You're going to need some dried up insect specimens um, that I got from my box of old specimens. You need some alcohol or other disinfectant like Lysol or something like that. And then you're going to need some water. So really, most of the stuff you should be able to just find at your house and be able to do but it is quite a process and a bit of work to do. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we're gonna take our paper towels and you can also use like sand or you could use sawdust. We just need to get something down here that's gonna hold in our moisture. And I'm gonna really pack it in there tight so it can hold a lot of moisture while still holding up our little plastic container we got in there, so. All right, so once you got that, we're gonna add some water to it. This is gonna increase our humidity if we can get that to go in there. We'll probably add some more paper towels here in a minute. Just wanna keep that water kind of held in place. Okay, so that's gonna kind of uh, get us a lot of moisture. And the key thing we wanna do is we wanna get a ton of moisture in this container to soften up the body of these really dried up insects we've got here. So let me show you the insects I'm working with this time. Some really cool looking longhorn beetles. So I really wanna pin these. So I'm hoping this is gonna work. We're gonna be able to relax them. So we'll see if that works. Um, I'm gonna add some alcohol to this just to kind of prevent mold growth and stuff if possible. There's a bit. That should help with that. And then I'm gonna get my plastic container in here. And the key thing is you do not want the insects to get wet. You just want there to be a lot of humidity in your container. Put this in down as far as I can. But again, like I said, you don't want them actually getting directly moist. If you look on the side there, there is some place for the air to kind of breathe. I'm just pushing it down there to make sure it's going to still let some of the moisture move up in here. So now we're going to take our specimens. And just by touching this, you can tell that it's very brittle. Doesn't really want to bend very much. Put that in there the other one in there too. Trying to be as careful as I can. Probably should use forceps for this. And then I'm going to seal this thing off. And then I'm going to leave this thing for probably 12 hours and see what it's like. The relaxing times will vary. If you leave it in there for too long, then fungus will start to develop. If you leave it in there for too little time, then it's gonna to be too brittle. So anyways, this has been sitting overnight. Let's see if uh, it's kind of softened up at all. Definitely a lot of humidity in there. Let's take a look here. Touch that. I think those antennae are definitely moving a bit. So that's good. Um, I think we're ready to pin it then. I think it should work. Much more flexible than they were before. I mean, not gonna be perfect, but I think this is gonna work great. Start with this guy. And let's see if it's a little more soft. Pull out some of these pins. Let's see if it's softened up on us. See these antennae are bending a lot better. Not perfect, but yeah, they're definitely bending quite a bit more. So let's go ahead and do our primary incision right here.
that. That looks pretty good. I mean, right now you can't really tell because it's looks like an Edward Scissors hands or something with all the pins in it and around it and stuff. But I think once it dries, it's gonna look pretty nice. Um, I think I've got a pretty natural looking pin on it and mount. It looks pretty good to me. But yeah, that went really well. I mean, all I had to do is leave that thing overnight and it was totally ready to go. It was a little bit of a hassle getting the jar set up, but there we go. All right, here is the other specimen. This one's a bit smaller. For some reason, this one has a little bit better color to me. It's smaller for sure. It's got a nicer color in my opinion. So as you guys can see, the relaxing chamber worked and that only took me, you know, about five to 10 minutes worth of work. Just came back to it. And then it took me five to 10 minutes to get these guys pinned. But look at the awesome specimens I was able to get by doing a relaxing chamber. So even if you make the mistake of not pinning early, you can still fix it by doing a relaxing chamber. So before I wrap up this episode, I just want to tell you guys that I'm thinking about maybe doing a Slack channel. Um, just for us to talk about insects and collecting and different things. If you are interested in joining the Slack channel, send me an email at theinsecthunter at gmail.com and I will send you a request, an invite to join the Slack channel where we can chat about things. I think it'd be fun to have something like that. So send me an email if you're interested and leave me a comment below if this was helpful for you and a like and subscribe to our channel so you can stay tuned next time where Big Adventures Start Small.